Today we're going to be talking about embellishments. I've got this card today to show you where we've used some gilding wax, some cameos, some stick pins, some flat back pearls, just the extra little goodies that make your card special. So let's show you what we're going to be using in this demonstration. We've got a new die for you today. This is part of the Couture Creations die collection and it's called Dazzling. Isn't it pretty? And then we're also going to be using some of the Spellbinder dies. We've got the new Decagons, as well as the standard basic circles. Okay. And for stamps, we're going to be using the Cathedral Lace uh, set from Cre uh, Creative Expressions. And the sentiment comes from the Just Right Labels 20 set. Okay. Let's set those to the side and we'll get started. Now, to do the background, we're going to use the Dazzling Doily die. That's a hard one to say. Um, and we're going to cut an aperture. So let's go ahead and get that ready in our black cardstock. I'm going to tape it into place so that it's about, oh, right about there towards the top of the, the card and run it through the machine. Take my cutting mat, put that on there, and cover it with my base plate. We'll pop that through the grand caliber. And since it's really detailed, I think I'll just pop it all the way back. Okay, let's see. Now I've already got one of them cut, so I'm just going to use the outside portion of this, although we are going to be using the entire part of it for our demo. But that way you don't have to actually see me take out all the little pieces. So let's just do that and we'll set that one aside for the moment. So I've got my aperture here. It's really a nice big aperture too. And what we're going to do is use the Sea Garden A4 embossing folder with this. So I'm going to pop it inside of this and just run it through my machine. Get my base plate and I'm going to be using the Creative Expressions uh, Raspberry Plate, and let me just grab a small shim for the center of it. There we go. Run that through the Grand Caliber. Now, if you've not seen the gilding wax, you are in for a surprise. It's really, really stunning. And that's what we're going to be using with it. So set that to the side. Ah, look at that. And you've got a beautiful embossed piece there. Look at the detail on that. Now, it's black, so it's difficult to see on camera, but when you see what it looks like with the gilding wax, you are going to be amazed. This is the Patina Cosmic Shimmer Gilding Wax, and it's basically, it's a metallic gild in wax form. So you're just going to use your finger. And the thing about this that's really nice is you can make it as heavy or as light as you like. If you just want to show up a little bit of the detail, rub it on very gently. I personally want a little more of the patina color coming through in my background. I want the black to actually be secondary, so I'm going to put quite a heavy, heavy bit on here. And that's all you do is rub that and just get a little bit on your finger, pick it up and rub it and rub it all the way around. How simple is that? Look at that and it just brings out that detail. Now this will dry on its own or you can take a tissue and just give it a, a buff up and really get it shining. It's totally your call, whatever you prefer. The card's your creation, so you make it how you like it. But there we go. We've got that pretty much covered there. How simple was that? A little bit right on that corner. I think that's so pretty, though. See how gorgeous that comes out? Really picks up that patina shine. Now, I've done one ahead of time. Let me just clean my finger with a grime boss. Get that wax off my finger so we don't get that on any part of our card. These are handy little cleanups to have around your craft table. They're always on mine. Okay, so set this to the side because I have prepared one ahead of time and I wanted to raise it up for dimension so I've put a little bit of mounting foam on the back of it and I've gone ahead and put my uh, 
double bow on the bottom of this. I'm gonna show you how to tie that in a little bit though, okay? So we're gonna do a little bit of stamping first. Next, I'm going to be stamping the Cathedral Lace uh, stamp, and I don't need all of it. So what I'm gonna do is let's just set our wax to the side, and we're gonna get our perfect medium. This is a, a clear, sticky embossing ink. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a rub with my anti-static pad, and I'm gonna ink up just the center of this because I'm only going to use a portion of it. Even though a stamp is, you know, whatever size it is, and that is a large stamp, you don't have to use all of it. You can use portions of it and, and it comes out absolutely stunning. So I'm gonna stamp this onto my cardstock. Give it a good push. Make sure I make contact all the way. And if you're not very good at stamping, turn it upside down, do it this way. You can get a beautiful impression like that too. Not a problem in the world. Set that to the side and we'll do some embossing. I'm just going to put a little piece of copy paper underneath here to catch my embossing powder. And this is the True White uh, embossing powder from Cosmic Shimmer. It's my favorite. There we go. And I, just a tiny bit more there, I think. Okay, and I will decant this back so we don't waste any of it. Let's set it out of our way. And let's do some heating to melt that embossing powder. You can see it melting as you go along. It changes from that dull powder look to the shiny embossed look. So you know you've done enough there. And then you can just move that along with your heat tool and you can just watch it, it kind of runs along with it. It's pretty. I never get tired of this. Make sure you've got all your edges. That's beautiful. Okay, set that aside. Now we're gonna die cut this. I'm gonna use one of the dies from the Decagon for this just to get a really nice shape to it. And we'll tape this into place. In fact, let's just use this piece we've used before. About like that, and we'll put one more at the top. Get that into place, and I think that's all the die cutting we have left to do on this one. So let's do that, put that on our cutting plate, top it off with our base plate, and run it through our grand caliber. And if you hear that popping sound, perfectly normal especially when you have label shapes. For some reason, I think it's because they're more open. They tend to bend and move as they go into the cutting plate, so you hear that noise. Don't worry about it. There we go. And pop that piece out, and we've got a lovely, just um, embossed with that fun detail pattern all the way around. So we'll set that aside, and you could even use this for something else if you liked. But be sure and take your die off and store it on your magnetic sheet. Okay, so now let's do a little bit of assembly. So, like I said earlier, I've done this piece with the mounting foam on the back already. And I've got quite a bit of it, actually. I like to have my mounting foam so it really supports my card. So let me peel all these pieces off the back and we'll get it into place. There we go. I'm just gonna pop this down. Oops, let me make sure I'm straight. Ish. You can take more time when you do your card, but there we go. So I've got that ready to go. And like I said, I did take this one, which we actually, it's the same one we cut, but I pre-cut one, popped out all the little pieces, and I added on some pearls ahead of time. So I'm going to take a little bit of Cosmic Shimmer glue, and we're just going to put some glue on the back in the center here, and just on kind of some strategic spots back here because what we're gonna do is recess that back into the aperture. So you'll have just a multi-dimensional look from the, the layers involved here. So line that up and just give it a push through. And you can see you're straight because you're pushing right through that same die-cut die -cut area. There we go. Starting to take shape now, I like this. Now here's the piece that we cut out earlier, a little bit of mounting foam on the back of that. We're gonna give it some dimension. A Couple of pieces should do the trick. 
and we're going to pop that over the centerpiece. And I've got a little bit of stuff on there, but I'll tell you what, when you do yours at home, you can take that off. It's not going to show, I don't think. And I've already die cut some circles here with my sentiment from the Labels 20. This is Thank You. It's one of my favorite fonts. I love this one. And we're going to pop that right in the center. So you can see a bit extra of the um, embossing that's going on around it. Now, it's not quite complete yet because we do need to add our embellishments. And that's what I was talking about earlier. So I've chosen one of the large cameos and I really like the way these look. I think they're so pretty. So we're gonna put a glue dot on the back of it and add that to our bow. And I think that that bow is strong enough to carry off this size. Pop that right in the center. And we're gonna do a couple of pearl stick pins. And I take and put the sharp part of that into that knot or underneath the glue dotted area on my Cameo. And so I don't ever worry about them um, sticking anyone. There we go, so I've got that. So I'll show you the completed card and then I'll show you how I tied that bow. So here we are, basically all ready and done, but to tie the bow, I've used the white silky crush ribbon from Creative Expressions. And what I do is I pull off a double piece of that. And I never cut it, or I never, um, I never measure it, to be honest with you. I just kind of pull off about, so oh, I'd say that's about 18, 20 inches doubled. And then I cut it. And I leave it folded. And I start there. That is going to be the tails to my bow. So I just leave it about like that and I squish it between my fingers. I pinch it, as it were. Form my two loops there. Pinch that into my thumb and forefinger. And remember, those are your tails. And then I wrap it around just like you're tying your shoelaces. Tuck it in there. And then you just have to get a hold of those. Pull them through. And now I keep those tails down in my fingers there. And I pull. And so I've got two tails here, and this is going to be my tail. Fold it in. I'll trim it with some scissors. And these two are going to be my tails. I'll fold them in half, cut away from myself to get that V shape. And then what I like to do is I'll take the inside loop, pull it upward, and shorten it. You just have to decide which one of these is the inside loop. It's not always the same one. I shorten it slightly. And I'll do the other side, pull that apart. And when I say pull, really give it a good yank and then find out which one is the top loop there and give it a little bit of a pull. And you can straighten it a little bit too. Now, another top tip is if your tails don't behave, and they often don't, glue dots are your friend. Put a little glue dot behind that and you put it down on your card and it will stay exactly where you need it to. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's demonstration. I know I have. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye-bye.